Hi everyone, this is the PLC Fiddle Shift Register Output Challenge Solution. And what we're, our challenge is to take the existing shift register that we made in PLC Fiddle and add an output. So when bit, fifth, bit 12 of the shift register turns on, then bit 12 output will turn on. And we want to still have all 16 bits of our shift register available to us. So this is our uh, shift register that we had last time. And what we did was we actually discussed a little bit about the, uh, the shift register. As it shifts left, we're multiplying by, uh, by 2. And we shift right, we divide by 2. And here's a chart. So we want bit number 12, which is this bit right here um, of our 16 bits. So when that turns, when that's on, we want an output to be on. But we have all these other uh, cases, or these other four bits that we want to kind of mask out. So when we mask out, we actually subtract them from our count. So we'll start subtracting these variables until we get to this one, then we can turn on our output. So let's see how that works in PLC Fiddle. If we, uh, the first thing we need to do is there's all of our, our inputs here. We have uh, bit 12 work word. And so what we're gonna do, first of all, is we have a few lines of code to put in. So what we'll do is compare, or we'll do a move. So under the math, we'll take our move. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move uh, shift register to the um, bit 12 work word. So we actually have the value in there so we can now manipulate that those uh, values. And what we want to do is we want to uh, compare our bit 16 and see if that's on. And if it is, then we're going to subtract that value for bit 16. So let's look at the compare. We'll look at the greater, greater or equal to. And so we're going to look at the 12 work word, work word. And bit 16 is actually uh, 32,768. So, and we'll this move over here. So, first of all, we move, then we compare a bit. And if it is, then we'll do a subtraction. So let's look up here for our math. And move this around, there we go. So we'll take our bit 12 work word. We will subtract the, uh, the value of the 16th bit and store it back in. So that takes care of one word. Now what we want to do is take care of the other three bits that are that are in in there. So let's look at the again the, the compare. And what we'll do is take a look at the um, the fifteenth bit, and that variable will now be uh, instead of the thirty-two. We are now we're looking at sixteen. And then we're going to do another subtraction. And we're going to take that work word, 15. We're going to subtract now the cost at 16. And we're going to store that back into bit 12 work word. Now that can takes care of our our 15th bit, now we got 14 and 13 as well. So again, we need a couple subtractions. And I'll grab one more. And we need a couple of our competitors, or compares, greater than or equal to. Drag this down. There we 
go. And then we can fill up our values. So we did the 16th bit here, 15th, 14th now. Enter constant now is going to be 8192. And then what we'll do is do our subtraction for the same constant. And store it back at our work word. So again, what we're doing is masking out these bits in that bit 12 work word to eliminate them so that we can actually get to the, the true bit that we want, which is bit 12. And here we're going to go 4. And back to bit 12. Good, so everything looks good so far. And then the last one is actually looking at bit 12 itself. So again, we'll look at the greater than or equal to bit 12 and the constant will be uh, 2048 for that um, value. Back here, we'll put this in. So bit 12. And what we need now is our bit 12 output. So let's look at our coils. And bit 12 output. So that looks like what we'll do. So again, just to summarize, what we do is we take bit 12, we take the shift register, we put it in there as our work word. And then we can manipulate bit 12 work word around by masking out the first four bits um, be before my bit 12 that I want to look at. So then I subtract these constants from it if they are on or greater than, which leads me to uh, say then if bit work or bit 12 work word is greater than 2048, I turn on my bit 12 here. So that's basically how that works. And if I look at my um, shift register here, what we'll do is we'll just start that and we'll give it an input turn it off and now what we'll see is once I get to um, my value in my work word you we will see the output here turn on for that one second which we just did and it turns off again so let's turn it on um, and what we'll do is we'll turn it on for a few times and then we'll turn it off. So what you'll see is as it travels through, there's my shift register, my bit 12 work word is on and it'll start turning it on as it hits that and then after a while, as many times as I left it on, it'll then turn off. So it actually delays the um, output from coming on based on how many steps or how many uh, sequences through that shift register I'm looking at. So that is the solution to our output of our shift register using PLC Fiddle. Now all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca and you can also find links and additional challenges below this video. Now if you'd like to help us out and, um, and you like this video you'd like to help us out, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.